Hi lovely people, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matches. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. Today's topic is a very interesting one and I know a lot of y'all have a lot of interesting comments. So do not forget to also engage us on our comment section at y254 hashtag unfinished. Today, we're talking about men and societal pressure. From what has been happening for the last couple of days, we have seen men go beyond their limits trying to feed their families. On to our first question, do you think society places a lot of pressure on men to a point that they participate in illegal activities trying to feed their families? Let me know what you think. Yeah, from society like Nile something is happened that you expect in a in a unapata una delete into it like your pressure na come through unapata unaanza ku do vitu zingine aziko naona according to me akitu ntasema ni eti squeeze society iko na nini like iko na uzito mwingi kwa watu like unapata mse asipofanya kitu society inaanza kubonga kumuhusu na cheki so like kwa, kwa mfano size mimi naweza kuwa niko na familia si ndio kuna wakati nilikuwa na support family yangu then inafika at a point mambo inaenda inaenda combo una check unapata ile contribution nilikuwa napeana kwa familia yangu ina inaenda chini sasa hapo hivi unajua sasa society sana sana sisi ma boys utasikia society inasema ati wao oh, mse sijui siku hizi ameanza kufanya nini na nini na nini na nini sasa unakuja kuona like uh, kutokana kuto, kuto, na hiyo vitu ile nyo anaongea nyuma yangu inanifanya mimi unajua sitaki kukaa msefala ula cheki so inabidi na jipush nafanya anything to make sure like ni mo approve ya wrong kwamba mimi naweza provide like naweza provide ya family yangu yeah do you like there is this thing yenye nasemekana like the men are the people yenye nafaa ku provide ya family so a man can go to an extent so long as atapata pesa ya kukidhi mitaji ya familia yes i think so top point because right now when you look at the society it comes with a lot of pressures and uh, in most cases the pressures are oriented towards the males uh jo size ko ko society nyo na atoki anza ku date uh they wanna kuja kwa ko with the expectation that you have to be providing for them yeah so for examples like those i think men wanna kwa na pressure sana kutoka society yes and no uh yes uh depends depends on uh depends on a lot of factors Uh, maybe in some areas yeah there are places where men have been pushed uh, to engage in illegal activities uh, and uh, maybe places maybe the downtown uko slums eh? i think those are places where crime is quite high because uh, also so societal pressures uh, but also no because it depends on individuals uh, uh, it depends on individuals if if your values are uh you have to work hard to you know you know uh engaging in crime is 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 something bad if your values are not for that then the pressure will not get to you to engage in illegal activities but uh, if you if you are a person who 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 whose values can be easily be twisted then you might engage in that Yeah to me I think yes they have yeah there's too much pressure on their side so for me yeah, yeah it's true yeah they have pushed yes to an extent um, I feel like men have got to a point where they have they think that the only value is what they provide and it has been said so many times and it fe- um, to the point that it feels like it's the truth to an extent it is the truth but uh it it gets worse with the current uh, social landscape when uh, men who are forced to actually you you being told that you ain't anything if you don't have money and the people who are saying it is like a small subset of people on social media and what you see on social media probably makes you think that's how the world is and the so called society is just like a small minor vocal majority like a vocal minority and people think that ah yes so if i don't if i cannot provide for my family um using legal means 
the ones that I have tried, which I need to do wash, wash, and all these things to just provide soft life for whoever I want. So, yeah, kinda. Exactly. Me fanya sana. Because you can get a family mingi currently in Kenya, ziko nutoa ni shemingi. Ah, rek we take a stretch in Kisi County. Many family owners come and say that him they are making total mama they are making total that there. In the thread, you can see him engage sana and the activity is going crazy because they couldn't job employment the economy currently to go in in our country. Um, society, it has pushed men to some extent to go into illegal activities, but uh, what I believe is that it's the economic situation in the country, and then uh, that together with societal pressure pushes men to do things that they would otherwise not do if they were in a good financial position. Yeah, so in, in part, yes, it has. Uh, yes, uh, but, uh, most of the time with the men as in nile as a responsibility of a man unajua ni ku take care of the family so unapata anaweza fanya anything just to take, the, take care of the family because uh, uh, recently kuna video nilikuwa naona uh, of a certain man ile alikuwa alikuwa broken uh, vile realize uh, uh, let me say his wife alikuwa naenda na other men uh, because of the money uh, the reason ilikuwa huyu man akuwa na provide enough unaona but alikuwa na involved kwa some activity such as semetu ka hizi ku uh, kuiba, uh, kupiga mtu nyongolo. Yeah, of which alikuwa na engage in those activities to provide for the family. Yet, uh, it was not enough. No, na. And that's why this lady uh, aliamua ku go to another rich man. Yeah, kisirisiri, chini ya maji. Yeah, of which uh, it's not good by the way. Na, yo pressure yo lady pia kuenda wivo, as in kutamani big things. Nuna sema ime push this man, as in ku engage in illegal activities. So, uh, I've supported my answer, which is yes. Yeah, sure. The uh, society must me to push mm. men to do illegal stuff to provide our families. Yeah, most of the guys when you work with crime, when you are doing a they are doing it to impress maybe their their wives, their girlfriend, and the rest. So most cases, you hear pressure in your camp, in a create your vacuum here. When I end up their families, because you are not a total to go to but I'm total on Melalanja, Bibi and Anna Kitu. So, Nazima, they have to go to an extent, Yakufanya Kitumbaya, to provide for the family. Kama sa even economy kumbaya, kuna jobs, nini. So, Apatam to Amingia wash wash, Amingia placing in, just maybe to to impress the girlfriend, I'm to provide for the family. Yes. Like, I'm to engage in prostitution. Like mtu anenda na tafuta mbaba and then anakuja na provide for the family cause men men they were on a on mostly in financial things like providing for the family. Personally, I feel like the society does give men a lot of pressure because we have grown up knowing that uh, men should be natural providers and we expect them to, you know, take care of the major bills in the house. But you see, that does not mean that the girlfriend or the wife should not also contribute. And also, you guys make these people want to do things that they're not supposed to do. Because if you know men very well, uh, uh, a few of men like to speak out for some reason. So you see, they find out they have no one to turn to and they end up doing things like stealing and all sorts of illegal things just to put food on the table. So please, uh, Magalde, Mtafte Kazi, get some money, support your boyfriend. On to our second question. Do you think a woman should come out and claim that she is the provider of the family when the man is unable to? Keep us engaged on our social media platforms at Y254. Well, for a woman to come out and claim that she's the provider or say that she's the provider, I think that sort of bruises the pride of a man because a man, especially in the African setup, is known to be the provider of the home. So for a woman to come out and say that, then that reduces their ego and it will hurt them. So I don't think a woman should come out. You should just be there supporting your husband uh, behind the scenes. Let not everyone know about it. Just let you and the family know about it. Oof. Uh, oh, I'm conflicted there. Uh, but I, I don't think it's wrong. And I also don't think 
you should be airing out your public, uh, your private business to people. Um, it's not wrong, but it's also not right because it's 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 what is underneath why you're saying it. If you're saying it to make the man feel like less of who he is, you're probably not in the relationship for the right reasons. But uh, if you're doing it just to help him, like he's declared bankruptcy and people are like, oh, oh my God, now how will the kids leave and stuff? And then she's like, no, I still will provide. That's probably to like save him from all that or she just pushed the wall. I just think people are unique in whatever relationships they have. And it's just, it calls for wisdom on when to or not to say. Um, I've not been faced with that situation. But I think that eh, kuna some... It's just not the best thing to just... I provide everything in this house. Man, you, yeah, you, you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons when you get to that point, or you're just frustrated. Okay, I don't think that is necessary. Kama ame ame mokufanya na roya ke like kitu a one time nani ame mokufanya well and good. Akuna zende kwambi ano ko inze that oh I'm I'm the one doing this, I'm the one doing that. No, zey kama enda ma mo ni saa pia. No, it isn't, cause kuli pa rent. Simunyata mnaishi hapo na maybe umenipa rent cuz your husband hana job ama nado so anafa kulipa bila kuongea hiyo itakuwa shida sana because mwanamke other people may say mwanamke ni msaidizi wa mwanao mwanaume there's nothing like that mwanaume ndio atakuwa na provide kila kitu kwa nyumba lazima kuje to the table they bring the same food to the table kama mwanaume ameleta unga na mama arete mboga for them to make the children happy so the situation when you say that the women that they are not supposed to provide the enough food the table to for the children, their children to enjoy kitu kaya jandikwa kwa constitution yote but the people says clear that this is the company of the man so that lazima that generation equal in end up one to one two by two yeah that's a hard question for me as a man Uh, but I think it will depend on the situation. Uh, but generally, I feel, I'll be honest, I'll feel, uh, no, it's not okay. Personally, I feel it's not okay. Uh, as a man, uh, you should do all you can uh, to make sure you provide for your, for your family. But also, yeah, you know, things may not go well every time. So, yeah, the woman can ship in once in a while to cover up but uh, for a man you have to, to to stand up and do do what you have to do to provide for your family yeah no to my opinion i think that a woman should not come out and say that she has been providing for the man since the man yeah the man is the head of the house yeah but the woman like no nikumwaibisha according to me yeah yeah there's uh, some instance zenye zinaweza fanya vitu kama hizo kwa sababu life life has many dynamics kuna time maybe the man is sick maybe the man uh, amefutwa job maybe kuna financial crisis yenye kama msa alifungua biashara yake ime crash so kama you are married so i think as a man as a lady a lady should uh, step in for a while but if i kukaa sana because pia ina inaua the ego ya mwanaume because when a woman provides you for a long time itakuleta shida na sana sana msichana akikuprovidea mkiachana atakuwa na ku remind kila siku oh nilikubaia sapa ni I, pay, i paid your rent nilikufanyia sasa atakuwa like anakukumbusha so i think the society may to make a way that even the the ladies or the women they feel like they are entitled to receive from men but not uh, men to receive from them so he can't for long now kisha pata kama mwanaume akisha pata wera ama nini anafaa refund anafaa rudishe hiyo pesa yote because hapo uh, mbeleni mambo itachemka it may be okay depending na contribution yenye analeta kwa familia familia iko na watu wawili couples i mean man and a woman 
kwa kwa wale wenye hawa support LGBTQ man and woman si ndio sasa contribution ile yenyewe unaleta kwa familia na ile yenye mimi naleta kama ni wende unaleta ukweli usemwe tu si ndio E, kama mulikuwa mnatoa 50 50 tukisimama tunasema mimi nilikuwa natoa 50 yeye pia alikuwa natoa 50 lakini sasa siku yangu itaenda chini nianze kutoa 30 atoe 70 akisema haina shida so long as kuna ile understanding kati yangu mimi na wewe yeah hivyo no it's not okay it's not right cause um, when you in when in, in the couple marriage you're in marriage that times maybe the man lacks so a woman can top up yes so it's something like people, you help each other, so you're not supposed to complain. So when you, are in, when you enter in the marriage, you should just like know. When the man lacks, it's the woman to top up. Yeah, so the woman should not complain. I can say, uh, yes, uh, it's possible for a woman to claim uh, she's the provider. Because uh, uh, when she provides, as in an act on uh, both roles of a man, and of a woman. Now, the role of a man is to provide for the family, yes. And uh, fear for the lady uh, or a woman, uh, yes, uh, I work is somehow to support the man to provide for the, for the family. But uh, I can say that uh, when the woman takes that role, uh, it's uh, allowed yeah, to say that she is the provider of the family, yes. Because uh, man, you can get, yeah. That means that uh, we man, uh, you can uh, exist, let me say that. Uh, it's like uh, the man does not exist, so the woman is allowed. Yeah, I think that is something she's entitled to say when she feels like it. Yeah, but I don't think that it is necessary for her to state that out. Yeah, it's, it's not a necessity to state that out, but when she feels like she truly needs to say that out, well and good, I'm not of opposing opinion. In my opinion, I feel like it's allowed, but I also feel like it's totally unnecessary because it's also very important for you to protect your man's ego. If you did this out of love, I don't see why you should be complaining. And then another thing is you loved each other in public. I don't see why when things go more lama, some things are just not to be aired out in public. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>